There's a really strong connection between Puerto Rico and New York. There's a home away from home sort of vibe to it. If you're Puerto Rican and you were born and raised in Puerto Rico, you have somebody who lives in New York in your family, you know? So it's almost like you have somewhere to fall back on. I moved to New York, basically looking to, to look for people to collaborate with. And um, I met Raquel like six months after I moved. Two, three, four. The band came about really organically. It wasn't anything that we, that we sort of set our sights on, uh, on making records or being in a scene or whatever. Once we saw that people really dug what, what it was, and we just decided to sort of keep pursuing it. And, uh, and so far, so good, you know? A lot of people really, really dug the music and the aesthetic and the whole, you know, the statement. It's not bad. Cabuya is slang in Puerto Rico. Busca means to seek, to seek out, you know. And buya means like a ruckus, like a big loud, you know, sound or a party or something. So it's gotten like this double entendre. New York is sort of that place where you're like one minute you're like hating it and then something happens and then you're like oh this place is pretty cool you know like there's still like really interesting people here and interesting spots people are st still keeping like culture alive it's perfect This is San Germán Records. We come here to get like stuff for our shows. Plus, I've always been kind of a Puerto Rico flag freak. We miss it a lot. And I feel the longer that we are in New York, the more we sort of identify with like New Yorkans and like New Yorkan culture. We're from Puerto Rico, like right now, Puerto Rico is going through like an economic crisis and like we're here and we have a band. We're making it happen. In New York is a place I still, where you can definitely make your dreams happen, but you gotta hustle, you gotta focus and man, whatever you need is here.